so guys uh, remember one thing we are actually discussing update sets concept today update sets concept okay update sets so what are these update sets and why do we use these update sets in the service now platform first of all we need to understand this point clearly so earlier we have discussed that if an organization want to use service now platform when they want to get started with service now platform they have to connect with service now sales team okay they have to connect with service now sales team so let us say deloitte deloitte company want to use service now product and they will reach out to service now service now company sales team okay they will actually discuss everything and then finally deloitte company will purchase the service now product from service now company okay fine so this service now company will actually give the service now url like this one so service now company will give the url something like this one okay okay so they will actually give this three urls so here is the place in this development instance so this is the url where you will actually work on where we service now developers will work so here service now developers will actually work here in this url okay so like ui pages ui macros client scripts ui policies data policies tables all those things you will actually create in this instance in this url all the customizations and configurations you will do it in the developer instance this is actually enterprise developer instance this is the place where developer will do his job okay so whatever the development that you will do right that development you have to move it to testing environment for testing purpose so here so testers will actually come into picture this testers will come into picture and they will test your development in this environment so they will not go to developer environment they will not, they will not actually test there in the developer environment okay so testing should be done only in the test environment so for that what you will do is you will do the development you will actually move your development from this developer url to this qa testing testing instance instance is nothing but url okay so you will you all your development here you will actually move development from this instance to this instance so then all the ui pages that you created will come here in this instance all the client scripts ui policies that you have created right that will actually come here so then testers will test those things if everything is good if testers give sign off that means if tester says okay everything is working fine then they will actually move it here till production this is actually the final final stage so this url will be used by all the company employees hope you guys have got idea okay so here you will you you will you the you, you will do the development right you will do the work right so that development you have to move it to testing environment right how do you move is that you will use update sets so to move your development from one instance to another instance you will use update sets 
through the update sets, you will move your development from this instance to this instance. Okay. You guys are clear, right? So to move the development from one instance to another instance, we will use update sets. Concept is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So guys, here you guys have to understand one thing. When you join in an organization, you will be given these three URLs access. That means they will create a user account in these three URLs. You will have user account in user account in the user table in this environment. You will have a uh, user account in this uh, test instance. And uh, uh, for this one also, production one also, you will have access. Okay. So all the company employees will not have access to these two things. Understand? Okay, fine. Now, what exactly you guys have to do is, you guys have to understand one thing here. So once you start your development here, right? First and foremost thing that you have to do is you have to create an update set. Our work will start with the creation of update set. Our work will start with creation of update set. So let us say you have assigned some work. So you have been assigned some work. You are asked to complete that work within 10 days. So first thing what you will do is you will create an update set. After that, you will do your work. While, while you are doing your work, all your development work will be captured in the update sets. Like client scripts, UI policies, UI macros, UI pages, UI actions, all those things, UI macros, UI formatters, all these things will be captured on those update sets. So those update sets, you will actually move it from this instance to this instance. So you can move it to this instance as well. From one instance to another instance, you can actually move your development using update sets. So this point is very clear. So when you begin with your work, you have to create an update set. Fine, right? Update sets, what are updates? 